the Winter Haven Police Department was already investigating the shooting that happened in the Florence Villa area. The shooting happened along Palmetto Avenue Northwest. The shootings, however, were not related. Officers responded to the scene and found one victim, Rory Copeland, suffering from a wound to his torso. The officers secured the area and transported Copeland to the Winter Haven Hospital. His injuries were non-life-threatening. While working the scene, officers heard additional gunfire behind a nearby church. They ran to the location and found the second victim with a significant gunshot wound to his neck. That victim was Cody Hunt. He died from his injuries. Witnesses pointed officers to a person who was running away from the area. Officers followed Debonair McIntosh and took him into custody. He's been charged with the first-degree murder of Cody Hunt. McIntosh told officers he saw them talking to police after the first shooting and ran into Cody Hunt as he walked away. He claimed Hunt yelled at him, saying, Are we going to fight it out or are we going to shoot it out? McIntosh alleges that Hunt was behind him while he had his hand in his pocket on his weapon. Almost immediately after the victim made the statement, McIntosh alleged that he spun around, pulled his gun, and began firing. McIntosh told the officers during the split second he turned and pointed his weapon at Hunt, the victim was standing with his hands in his pocket with no weapon visible. After the shooting, McIntosh ran away and was taken into custody a short time later. Police searched the area and found a stainless snub-nosed 38 five-shot revolver near where the suspect was arrested. After taking this horrible, horrible loss, some of Cody Hunt's friends, according to an arrest report, told police that McIntosh and Hunt were familiar with each other. The two had an altercation online about a week prior. McIntosh was trying to build a name as a disc jockey while Hunt was a successful promoter. Hunt allegedly made disparaging remarks about McIntosh's performance and told people that he was disloyal. In Facebook Live, the suspect is seen shouting about misdeeds against him before producing a revolver, saying it's with him all the time. It's unknown at the time if McIntosh was involved in the initial shooting that injured Copeland. Officer Larry Bird called the second shooting concerning. Bird said, quote, Let's be honest here. You've got a lot of police officers working the shooting already, and then somebody has to drive to stand right there and shoot someone and kill them. That's concerning to us, and that's concerning to the community. End quote.